a high-speed train barreled into a parked train at one of SEPTA's busiest terminals overnight, injuring more than 40 people and causing what one passenger described as a bloody scene. SEPTA officials say a Norristown high-speed line train was arriving at the 69th Street Transportation Center on Market Street in Upper Darby around 12.10 a.m. Tuesday when it crashed into an unoccupied train that was sitting in the terminal. I stood up to get off to get ready to get to my bus on time and smack, it hit the other trolley, parked, Ronnie, a passenger who asked this only to use his first name, told NBC10. At least 42 people, including the conductor, were injured in the crash. SEPTA officials say none of the injuries are life-threatening. At least four of the victims are in critical condition. It's not clear how fast the train was traveling when the crash happened, but passengers described a violent collision. Upper Derby Mayor Thomas McCausey said the train came into the station hot. My face hit the wall, put a big hole in the wall and I went straight down and I blacked out, Ronnie said. There was blood everywhere. The driver is all banged up and there was this one girl bleeding out of her face pretty bad. Three of the victims were taken to the Lankanau Medical Center and the conductor was taken to the Penn Presbyterian Medical Center. He was treated and later released, according to SEPTA. The other victims were taken to other area hospitals including Delaware County Memorial Hospital, Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital, Misericordia Community Hospital, Springfield Hospital and Taylor Hospital. Ronnie claimed that prior to the crash, the train had twice overshot stops during the trip. I was waiting at Gulf Mills. The train came by, it blew past us about three or four train lengths, stopped, backed up, picked us up, Ronnie said. The same thing happened at Bryn Mawr. SEPTA officials have not confirmed the allegations. Investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board arrived at the terminal Tuesday morning to start an investigation. This is the second major train incident at the 69th Street Terminal this year. In February, an out-of-service market Frankfurt L train collided with two others on a loop track. The impact caused several cars to derail and tip to the side. Four people were hurt in that incident. Makazi said he's concerned about safety at the terminal. He plans to call U.S. Rep. Bob Brady, the Philadelphia Democrat, Tuesday and ask for help in improving track safety. SEPTA spokeswoman Heather Redfern said the Norristown High Speed Line uses automatic train control, a safety system that's been deployed on rail lines nationwide for decades. With a TC, a train operator will get an in-cab warning when they violate a speed limit. If they fail to slow the train within a few seconds, the system takes over. Experts say a TC is an effective technology for preventing crashes, but Amtrak has said it's not as advanced as a newer technology called Positive Train Control PTC. PTC can halt a train when it fails to comply with a stop signal and prevent derailments at curves. The rail service wrote in the wake of the 2015 derailment of Amtrak 188 in northeast Philadelphia. The Amtrak line, train 188 was traveling on DIDNT, have ATC activated when the derailment happened. PTC was not yet installed on the line. It's since been deployed. In May, U.S. Rep. Patrick Meehan, a Republican, and Democratic U.S. Senator Bob Casey announced nearly $6 million in federal funding for SEPTA to improve regional rail. SEPTA's commuter train lines, including the enhancement of PTC on those lines. Norristown High Speed Line service between 69th Street and Norristown resumed as regularly scheduled at 420 a.m. Tuesday. One of the tracks is not operational however so passengers should expect delays. Express service is also shut down for the day. Published at 11.25 p.m. PDT on August 21, 2017 updated six hours ago.